Hi everyone, welcome to a second video on navigating the job search and remote work challenges during COVID-19. I hope everyone is staying at home and staying safe. I'm Ritik and I work with the marketing team in Indeed. As you can see, I'm working from home like most of you. And I would like to start off by saying that these are extremely difficult times, but we are all in this together. Now in this video, we're going to discuss how to find work. This was actually the single most asked question during our survey. I guess all of us want to know more on this topic. The biggest question in my mind and that of everyone else is, are there companies out there who are actually hiring? And if there are companies, how can I find it? What do I do to increase my chances of getting a job? So I'm going to share with you a few of my learnings that you might find helpful. To answer the first question, there's plenty of demand for candidates involved with essential services. The industries that come to my mind include delivery services, retail and grocery chains, pharmacies, hospitals, healthcare solutions, just to name a few. And if you're looking for something more long term or something that will not require you to venture outside, you can always consider remote or work from home jobs. In fact, our data shows an increase in work from home job strength. The share of job postings on Indeed that advertise remote or flexible working arrangements has been steadily rising over the past year. And that trend has continued in recent weeks also. Now coming to job search, the first step to find the right job opportunity for you is to identify your top skills and map those with opportunities available in the market. For example, if you have experience in customer facing role, especially answering questions, addressing concerns and taking feedback, you may be well suited for work as a remote customer service representative. If you enjoy writing, researching and have a very good knowledge of grammar, then you might want to consider working as a freelance content writer. The next thing that I want to answer here, and a lot of people have asked me this question, is how do we actually search for remote jobs on the Indeed website or the Indeed app? If you do not have an exact job role in mind, you can start off with terms like remote, work from home, home based in the what section and leave the where section completely empty. But, you, but if you already have a job profile in mind, Use that job title in the what section and use the term remote in the where section. For example, if you're searching for a remote project manager job, use project manager in the what section and the remote in the, and the word remote in the where section. Another easy way can be to just type remote project manager in the what section and leave the where section completely blank. Well, that brings us to the end of job search. But while we are, while you are searching for jobs, don't forget to set up job alerts. This would reduce your need to manually search for jobs every day. As soon as a job is uploaded on Indeed that matches your criteria, Indeed will send an email to you. And trust me, it's very, very simple. You can customize your job alerts, look for specific roles, look for specific companies, or even both. For example, if you want to set up a job alert for a remote project manager, you'll need to use the word project manager in the what section and the word remote in the where section. Enter your email ID, and you are all set up to receive job alerts from Indeed. Finally, once you have found a few opportunities for yourself, the next step is to update your resume. I think that there are three key things that you should definitely update. First of all, highlight how your previous work prepares you for the job you want. Use keywords that are frequently used in the job descriptions. Trust me, this can be very, very beneficial if the employer is using a screening software. For example, if the jobs that you are looking for need coding skills in Java or Python, be sure to mention Java or Python in the list of proficiencies also. Another thing that can greatly help you is listing out your hard and your soft skills. Hard skills are typically your technical skills like knowledge of coding in Java, knowledge of coding in Python, among others, while soft skills are your personal habits and your personal traits. Well guys, that's the end of our second video. Stay tuned for our third video where we are going to talk about key things to do during a virtual interview. Thank you and stay safe.